I get to get back to work. Hey, shine like go. They don't want story, man. They want the sound bite. I'm like, no. Looking around like they see you on the mound, they don't see you on the climb. Right? Me and all of mine in the power line. Look at this and what you find. Right? Shimmer, lights, flicker, all this light, edit, shimmer. I had a glow up. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Josh and I am the founder and master electrician here at Empowered Electric and I want to welcome you to Empower Ed where we take a closer look at all things skill trade related so that you can go back to your job with sharper tools or tackle that home project with a little more confidence. And today we want to take a special look at a safety thing. This will help you on a construction site. It will also help you at home if you have small kids like I do. Recently, I got a call from my wife in our bathroom lights were busted. And not only does it cause a safety uh, risk at cutting your fingers while trying to get that light bulb out, there's exposed electrical wires so that if it's energized, hold on a second here, let's see. Um, if it's energized, you could grab that and maybe not cut your fingers, but you could get a really bad shock. So I wanna just show you a couple ways to how to get a light bulb out when it's busted. Now, a couple people have made comments in our YouTube videos about safety glasses, and that is absolutely correct. When you are doing construction-like projects, safety glasses, here's the truth about them. You will never regret wearing them. And when you do regret not wearing them, it's very, very tragic. Another thing that you wanna consider is work gloves. Just like safety glasses, you will never regret wearing safety gloves. And so if there's a cut potential or um, <laughs> any time that you can really mess up your hands, you wanna wear gloves, okay? So I'm putting gloves here. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, guys, that light bulb is on. Am I gonna just grab it? Absolutely not. What's the only safe way to work on electricity? To de-energize it. Now I could go unplug this temporary wall. I could go turn off the breaker, which you should do, or I can just turn off this light switch. The circuit is now de-energized. So there's a couple different ways that we can try to get rid of this. Now, since the glass isn't completely destroyed, I probably could just grab it here and untwist it, okay? But you knew that, of course. So what happens if there's not enough glass to grab hold of and things are really damaged? Like that. Then what would you do? Well, you don't necessarily wanna grab here. You can grab here. Um, you can might get shocked if it was energized. Um, it can break, but, and it's hot. That right there is hot as crap. So, what I would suggest doing is getting a pair of needle nose uh, pliers, and you can grab here. Now, something's gonna happen. So, I'm not grabbing super tight. I'm kind of grabbing and seeing if it'll twist, right? It's, looks like it's gonna go, okay. Boom shakalaka. Well, what if that happens? <laughs> See, this is, this is one thing that I've had to do a bunch with my kids. They're throwing balls in the house, things like that. Um, once it gets out a little bit, so you can grab over here, this metal right here and twist. And you just wanna take it slow. You don't wanna force it. Grab it with the metal, take it slow. There we go. That's how you would remove it with some needle nose pliers. So that was pretty self-explanatory. If there's enough glass that you can twist it with your hands, by all means, twist it with your hands. Be very, very cautious of cutting your fingers. Wear work gloves. Also, one thing I didn't say, which I apologize, before you get into the area, you're gonna wanna sweep up all the broken glass. Don't say you're wearing slippers. Don't say you're wearing shoes. Take the time to sweep up the glass because you could cut your feet, okay? If you can twist it with your hands, and safely hold onto the glass, great. If you can grab it with your needle nose and twist it and twist the metal, great. But sometimes stuff is broke and you cannot get in there. So you use your needle nose and you can stick it in the hole and you actually grab both sides and pull them apart like this and twist. Stick it in the hole, pull it apart like this and twist. And see how it's coming out? And then once it gets to a certain level, then you can grab the outside and twist. There you go. All right, guys, so there you have it. If a light bulb is broken on a job site or at your house, the first thing that you wanna do is assess the situation and clean up that glass, sweep it up. Make sure that you're not gonna get any glass in your feet or in your hands or in your knees crawling up on the kitchen sink to change the light bulb. 
The second thing you want to do is make sure the circuit is de-energized. Turn the light switch off, turn the circuit breaker off. Make sure that you are not working on something dangerous. If enough glass is remaining, twist it with your hands. Get, be very, very careful, but just untwist it and get rid of it. If you've got to use your broken light bulb tool, the needle nose pliers, remember you can grab it and twist or you push it in, pull it open and twist it. Guys, if you ever feel unsafe, do not hesitate to reach out to a local professional in your area. If you're in the Kansas City area, call Empowered Electric at 816-500-9452. That's how you deal with a broken light bulb. This is on. Uh-oh, still on. At home or at the job site, wearing construction gloves, wearing these uh, types of gloves are gonna help you tremendously. Why do I have two lefts? I got two left gloves, what am I supposed to do with this? Getting a pair of safety gloves, work gloves, whatever you wanna call them, safety. Dude, what the is going on here?